actually today's incident or yesterday's incident and the rest of, uh, I would say, two citizens. Let's start by saying two citizens, uh, three citizens, uh, was a, you know a sign that the you know the, the laws that are being applied in Tunisia are uh, still the remaining of the previous regime. Uh, specifically, we're talking here in that case the penal code, uh, the criminal code. Uh, this code was really passed by the former regime to be able to uh, arrest, uh, to limit freedoms of, of its citizen. And we know the history of Tunisia. It has been used to put uh, Islamists in jail, journalists. Unfortunately, a year and a half after the revolution, this law is still being uh, used. Uh, the, the, the Tunisian uh, parliament or the constituent assembly did not work on, on modifying this law. Uh, as you may know, a good number of cases has been already, uh, you know, we witnessed uh, the, the arrest of a journalist a couple of months ago based on this law because he published a, a picture, uh, an offending picture between brackets on, on his uh, newspaper. And today it's, it's being used uh, because three citizens were uh, allegedly drinking uh, alcohol in a public space. Uh, so th really this is a moment to, you know, all this solidarity that we saw between the citizen, the activist around uh, freeing those three citizens should be now used in order to call for a real reform of the penal court. Uh, you know, we cannot wait till a new constitution is passed uh, in order really to, to start changing the penal court. So this is the moment, the right moment to start doing it. This penal court is it has a lot of uh, articles that are sometimes used, not used. You know, even talking to the police station yesterday, they were telling us if it wasn't Ramadan, we would have just asked them to go back home. So when we went to the police uh, station, they were very cooperative. And they were saying that Sofyan and his friends were very cooperative. They were gentlemen, as they said. Uh, uh, you know, they told them we were just camping. They went with them to the police station took their, uh, you know, what they had to say. So uh, sometimes the media and uh, create stories. Uh, that's, that's, that's an issue too. So, uh, um, so I think, you know, it was, it was you know, the, what, what we are condemning is, is the fact that, you know, someone who's at 5 a.m. in the morning sleeping in a tent is not really creating any problem. Uh, and it could have been solved very easily. But maybe the good thing is this will push to really push uh, a real campaign to change the penal code. Uh, we need to, the post-revolution impact should be changing those laws. If those same violations are still being occurring, that means we didn't really change a lot. And that's why the penal code should be a priority in the post-revolution phase, because the, the law is, is really vague. There's uh, terms that are very vague that could be interpreted in a different way. Uh, so it's not the laws that a revolution or a citizen after a revolution would aspire to live in. What I'm saying, there is no proof uh, at the time when the arrest occurred. Maybe they were drinking at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I don't know. But at the moment of the arrest, at 5 a.m., they were sleeping. So there is no evidence. And since the police did not send the, those three citizens uh, for testing to see if they had uh, alcohol or, or anything like that, that shows that there is not even uh, they're not even trying to prove that he was drinking. So it's just to send the message that, you know, you're not allowed to do that during that month or specific months. I cannot judge the intention. Uh, we, we, we don't really know till, till now what are the really causes why this, these citizens were arrested, you know, uh, and how did they learn about it, how did they know. So uh, we, we should not, you know, politicize everything in the post-revolution area. We should really say, uh, you know, we should really point out the problems. The problems is this is a law that should not be used now. That's what our fight. And maybe Sofyan, by doing what he was doing, was fighting this law indirectly as an activist. Uh, so I'm not going to say that because of his activism he was arrested, but maybe it was an act of him as a civil rights fighter to say, I, I should have the freedom to sit on the beach even during the months of Radam or even during any month, and I have the right also to drink in my tent, and I'm, I'm against that law. So it's, 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 a, it's, a, you know, it's an expression of, of uh, we should not you know, polit politicize it and say that you know, the government is behind this guy. I don't know, we cannot prove it. So since they cannot even prove that he was drinking, so it's from both sides, we should stick to evidence.